What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for your Monday Night Raw review for March 13th, 2017. We are 20 nights away from WrestleMania 33. And the biggest thing that WWE wanted to focus on tonight was how much more time does Mick Foley have in the WWE? How much more time does he have as the Raw general manager? That's the main focus Raw wants to put on their show going into WrestleMania three weeks out. Okay. First off, though, I want to point something out. Michael Cole. Really? I mean, seriously. You said tonight that the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Undertaker is coming back to reclaim his yard. Now, I know that I'm not the only one out there that thinks this. I didn't know the Undertaker lost his yard. And whether he loses to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania or he beats Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, no matter how many times he wins or loses, the WWE ring will always be the Undertaker's yard. Always. Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, whatever announcer that says that garbage and tries to shove it down our throat. That's first off. Just wanted to point that out there. Now then, on to the Raw review. So Foley, how much more time does he have in the WWE? You know, that's the biggest portion of Monday Night Raw tonight. Seth Rollins saved him tonight because he confronted Triple H. Saved McFoley from getting a pedigree tonight. Absolutely. McFoley and Stephanie McMahon had all these segments all throughout Monday Night Raw because McFoley was supposed to fire somebody at the end of the night. Stephanie McMahon wanted McFoley to gain some experience, gain some strength in his ability as a general manager. You know, gain some momentum, you know, as a general manager. And uh, he's supposed to cut the fat, you know, on the Raw roster three weeks out from WrestleMania. Well, no question, you know, we thought, everybody thought it was going to be Mick Foley. He hasn't had the heart to fire anybody. So, he comes out to the ring, and Stephanie is in the ring as well. And they, uh, they're sitting there, standing there talking, and Mick Foley says, The only person worthy enough to get fired on Monday Night Raw is you, Stephanie. You are the one that is ruining Monday Night Raw. You treat everybody like straight up garbage, pretty much. And so does Triple H. And Triple H just does everything for his own gain. You know, Triple H only cares about himself. And the next thing we know, Triple H comes down and says... Well, you know, if you have something to say to me, why don't you just say it to me instead of talking behind my back? They have some words. Next thing you know, we see Mr. Socko. Triple H gets Mr. Socko. And Mick Foley gets load blowed. Absolutely. Seth Rollins comes down and Triple H goes to town on Seth Rollins and absolutely 
levels him with the crutch, takes him apart. No question. These two are going to go at it at WrestleMania. No question about that. Anyway, the rest of the show, Lesnar comes out at the very beginning, and Paul Heyman is pretty irritated at the fans because they're giving mixed reviews, mixed reactions for Brock Lesnar, having Chance of Goldberg, and then having Boo Chance, and, and some cheers, and, and some Lesnar chants. Finally, Paul Heyman says, will you please shut the hell up? And then he says, Goldberg's not here tonight. And he says, Goldberg will be conquered at WrestleMania. The WWE Universal Championship will come to Brock Lesnar, the Beast, at WrestleMania, and the greatest comeback story in WWE history will fall at WrestleMania. So that was the gist of that segment, and they walked out. Can't wait to see what else Paul Heyman says. He always does a tremendous job selling Brock Lesnar's rivalries. Sasha Banks very easily disposes of Dana Brooks tonight. And then Dana Brooke turns babyface. Charlotte absolutely goes haywire all over Dana Brooke. And then Dana Brooke just erupts all over Charlotte. Turns babyface. About time this happens because I'm tired of seeing these two you know, when Dana Brooke is on TV, I'm tired of seeing these two, uh, you know, as a, a tag team couple, these two as a duo. TJ Perkins and Akira Tozawa versus Ryan Kendrick and Tony Nese. This was a pretty good matchup uh, for the Cruiserweights. And... Honestly, I'm glad to see that the Cruiserweights are finally getting a little bit of time on Monday Night Raw. Thank you, Vince McMahon. Finally, you're giving them some time. And uh, I kind of liked it. And hope they continue to get some more time on Raw and they don't just get two or three minute matches. And uh, TJ Perkins and Akira Zawa did end up losing this match, but all four of them did put on a pretty good match in this. KO had a segment talking about Chris Jericho, and it was still pretty much a still standard segment that he was talking about what happened in the past, about what he did, getting screwed at fast lane. And then he said that he was going to pretty much take Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. And he's going to pretty much destroy him and take his United States Championship. That the old Kevin Owens is back. And that he was never his best friend over these last six months. People was mad over these last six months. Disappointed. That he was pretending to be Chris Jericho's best friend. Well, he doesn't give two flying craps that people were upset with him. And honestly, he says that people should be upset with Chris Jericho as well. Because Chris Jericho was pretending to be uh, Kevin Owens' best friend as well. So, that was a pretty good segment. Great to see the old Kevin Owens back because... They pretty much threw away Kevin Owens' uh, character, even though I think him being with Chris Jericho helped him as a champion. They threw away his character. They threw away him as an individual, really, <clears throat> over those last six months. So. It's a little too late, 
but it's great to see the old KO back. Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Jinder, I love to roid rage, Mahal. Boredom. I'm not talking about this anymore. Best part about this is, thank you, Strowman. Thank you, Strowman. Never thought I'd say that. But Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns next week will face each other again. That was announced. And hopefully the monster among men will not get buried again. Hopefully, the phenom, the person that actually owns the WWE yard, the person that will never lose the WWE yard, even if he loses to the absolute most boring character, the most boring individual in the history of the WWE, Roman Reigns, will interrupt in that matchup to save Braun Strowman's career. That's all I can say about that. And I can't believe they actually used Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania himself, to try to build up Roman Reigns tonight. Can't believe they said that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, Shawn Michaels comes out, says, Undertaker's in your head, Roman Reigns. You need to get focused. And just like last week, he said, well, I didn't call you out, Shawn Michaels. I called out The Undertaker. Whatever. WWE. Roman Reigns is not the guy. The Big Show versus Titus O'Neil. I'm not talking about this match. I'm ready for WrestleMania season to be over so we can stop seeing the big show. Because once WrestleMania season's over, we won't see the big show. Ever. I tell you one thing, though. The big show versus Shaq must be canceled. Because he's in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Thank you. Bailey versus Nia Jax. Nia Jax gets disqualified. Nia Jax will be in the matchup. Because she looked dominant. And I've already went over. The last segment about McFoley stuffing Mr. Sacco into Triple H's gullet. And then Seth Rollins getting destroyed by Triple H tonight. Going to lead to their match at WrestleMania. That is Monday Night Raw tonight. Not... A terrible show, but not a great show. Doesn't really feel like a WrestleMania season show. Honestly, they are really focusing way too much on the authority figures for WrestleMania season. We know that Mick Foley's career... Mick Foley's time in the WWE is coming to an end. It's all out there in the rumors. It's all out there all over the internet about 
how he has been approved for that surgery for his hip. It's all out there. So, there's no sense in having all this. WWE should spend more time on their rivalries for WrestleMania. Other than that, tonight wasn't that bad of a show if they would just get things like Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal and the Big Slow versus Titus O'Neil, the Titus Boredom brand, and the Big Show off. Other than that, not that terrible of a show tonight. Let me know what you are thinking in the comments below. Subscribe, Facebook at 2007Webby, Twitter at 2007Webby. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.